up YouTube? Topaz Yates back for another album review and this one is to that Stolito and Don Trip Step Brothers 3 and I'm giving this one the green light dude and quite honestly this is something that I've been telling people for a while the rule of three actually does exist and this is another great example of it because anybody who's been following this channel for quite some time I have not given out a single green light in a while but yet yesterday I gave the green light to Rick Ross and today I'm giving the green light to this one even though this one came out a couple days before I just never was able to get to it till now. And I know another one is coming, but it may just be a single. It may just be something else. It may not be an album. But I already know what you're thinking. You're thinking that more life is right around the corner from Drake? And nah, I don't think that's going to be the one. Even though I hope that album is good, dude, nothing about it says that it's going to be good at this moment. Now, the thing that I like most about this album is that every song you are getting something here. Even though I only like a handful of tracks that I would go out and purchase off of this, the whole thing is actually actually worth the purchase because every song you're getting at least some lyricism, you're getting at least a concept, you're getting something very complex. And this is a great thing to talk about. Because if you remember when 2 Chainz and Lil Wayne came out with that project Caligrove I believe it was, people were so overhyping and saying these two artists are so lyrical coming together to do this project is so dope. When in actuality man that project has nothing on this iteration of the Step Brothers projects and such but yet all of them as well. And the reason for this is because these guys just have such excellent chemistry, dude. Like, they've been working together for quite some time to the point that they're able to try to pull off some of these complex songs like Good Cop, Bad Cop, in which I'm not going to go in specific details of that because I'm not trying to give away any spoilers, but yet the way they put that together is the way only people that got great chemistry can do it. Like, for the most part, groups and such, they tend to just want to go in the booth, spit their 16 balls, and leave. While this song, Good Cop, Bad Cop, they actually had to sit down and write it with each other and go off of what each other is writing and such in order to make it into as quality of a story that it actually is, man. Most groups just go into the booth and spit. Like, they never can actually sit down and talk about one core concept. But yet, Don Tripp and Starlito are able to do that, especially on songs like 13th Amendment. And this is an amendment that everybody should know. This is the amendment that abolished slavery, allegedly. Because you gotta understand the game here. Let me give you some history. And let me tell you specifically what they saying in this amendment. They say in the amendment that slavery is pretty much forbidden in the United States of America unless you're a prisoner and that's where the whole game comes into play because at the same time that they made this amendment is at the same time they created the prison industrial complex like all of these mass prisons and all of that or a whole system of prisons and such throughout the United States that only came right after they abolished slavery and, and that's where a whole bunch of just random laws came into play like you can't just be outside standing around and all that or else you're going to jail. That's where it all stems from. But that song is ultimately talking about how the 13th Amendment allegedly freed us as slaves, but yet we are still slaves to this day. But uh, but honestly, the thing that you most take away from this project is the lyricism because when I tell you they spitting, they spitting all throughout this project. And let me just give you a taste. Tell that bitch to shut the fuck up like I'm Juicy J. I will spray you faster than makeup. You say you want beef, then that makes me Jimmy Dean. I will hop out the van and spray like I fumigate. I'm eating so much out here that I got indigestion. I rock my kids to sleep by counting money. I ain't playing like it's a rain delay. But yet my favorite punchline probably was that I'll hop out and kill them all for my dog like I'm the son of Sam. And this brand of lyricism is what brings me to my favorite songs off this entire project because they both fit into the same kind of concept here where both of the artists are just spitting here, no core concept, but yet they selected the perfect beats for this whole concept to have good hooks on top of them. And those songs were that 25th hour and that just one it all. Them joints are phenomenal. Overall, a solid project, man. From top to bottom, I'm giving this joint an 8 out of 10. But a quick recap here, man. The positives that I'm taking from this is you get something from every song here, especially the lyricism. The lyricism is on point. But the negatives is I'm only really rocking with two songs here, man. But yet, I still listen to it in its entirety because all of the punchlines, dude. But this concludes today's review, and now we're gonna jump into a brief instrumental from underground producer Bizzle Beats before we jump into the news and then jump to an article from downloadpads.com. Chance to rap a K 
came out and specified exactly the kind of deal that he had with Apple because I guess people were questioning if he was independent or not, which he said specifically, Apple offered him a half a million dollars just for the exclusive of that coloring book project. And that's why after two weeks, he was able to drop it straight up for free. And when you're hot, man, that's the type of deal that you can go out there and negotiate, man. And I don't blame him at all for taking that money. That's free money. That's something that you was going to do anyway. I really don't see why people are trying to use that against him saying that he's not independent. He really just took a brief exclusivity deal for a large amount of money. But anyway, on to today's article from DownloadPads.com. And today's article is about dating priority. Because here's the thing, especially with a lot of guys and such out there, man, you want to find you a woman so badly and such, man, that you prioritize going out there dating and dealing with other women at all times over you actually doing what you need to do with your life. And don't don't get it twisted. I'm not trying to knock anybody for going out there to seek out love and such, man, because that's something that people tend to want. But overall, what I'm saying is you got to have your priorities in order. Like, you got to be out there on your grind trying to build and try to do everything you need to do as an individual to find your own success in life, or you're going to be miserable as you grow older. Understand that the women are going to be there, bro. You just got to take care of yourself first in order for you to get to that point where they're going to be really scoping and really choosing for you, in which you got to get yourself established. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there, and you can go to DownloadPads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.